And on the line with us now is Larry Sperano. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think he's. I don't right think much has changed. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think right much has changed or what? I, I think it's gotten worse because the technology now uh, enables much more of a <clears throat> ability to uh, purvey the influence throughout throughout all media now, including social platforms, which are being increasingly controlled and, and uh, censored. So, yeah, I mean, um, you know, Goebbels, which was Hitler's propaganda minister, was effective just using radio and uh, movies and print media back then in the 30s. You know, this would be a a dream for him today. And other people are are seizing on that. And uh, it's not heading in a good direction, Kent, especially now where alternative media has found a place on the Internet. Uh, right. on YouTube, on Facebook, but now that's beginning to erode the freedoms of that. It's be, it, That's beginning uh, politicized. And if not outright censored or editorial control, uh, they've got organizations that are putting contrary misinformation on the internet, causing much more of a confused state of mind for the general population. What's true, what isn't true? Well, what about the fact that there's so many other elements out there News is source news is sort of. I mean, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, but that's it, good. That could be you could argue that's good in the sense that you have choices, and et cetera. If right? you are discerning, but right. you know, too often, uh, people go to the internet, the alternative sources, some of it's very good stuff, and we're part of right. that ourselves. We're on YouTube and, and we're on, uh, right. on, on right. my own website through the internet. However, right. there's so much out there now that's misinformation, distorted. Uh, people with access to grind, and unless you're really a critical consumer of this, we'll spend a lot of time. Yeah, who's right. telling the truth? Right. You know, well, it, if- I mean, there, there are some very good alternative media out there, but there's also the opposite, and it's all becoming a mishmash for a, a person who's naive or or uninformed and just likes to go for the sensational stuff, the stuff that's very critical of one side or the other. So what I'm saying is. Even that now is heading in a bad direction, even though that has been the last refuge of, uh, of, of unbiased media. Well, let me ask you this then. I mean, what about the issue of self-censorship? When you spent all those years at Fox 40 News down there, did you feel like you were self-censoring yourself? Well, <laughs> without being too specific, <laughs> uh, you know, we both worked there. And right. you know, we know how it works. And that was that's typical of, of all stations where, you know, it's not like the station manager called us up in the morning for a meeting in which he dictated what right. stories we would cover, what stories we wouldn't cover. But we knew darn well that right. certain stories, you know, if we didn't stay away from them, there'd be repercussions in one way right. or the other. And certain things, you know, were, 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 you know, if it was radical enough in terms of the status quo, they, they, they wouldn't allow it to be aired. Right. Uh, if you recall that we... Um, once proposed doing editorials and right. we were told that it had to be approved at the highest level and we knew right, right then you know that, that was it yeah so, you know his station manager uh member of the chamber of commerce yeah. and you know, yeah. all these other organizations which didn't want anything exposing yeah. right. <laughs> any of the corrupt businesses corrupt uh politicians and corrupt pillars of the community and you know it's that where it's that way everywhere but you know, but you know, sometimes it works both ways. I mean, I'm thinking about when I w- was working at uh, at NBC for NBC Nightly News, and we were owned by GE, General Electric. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you would go in the opposite direction. There'd be a little item that about GE doing something, and you would feel so, you know, courageous and and, and journalistically honest, and go ahead and do the story when it really didn't amount to. Something that should get on the air, you know, it wasn't. It became it wasn't, overzealous. Wasn't uh, overzealous, right? Yeah. And then sometimes you'd work, it, you'd go the other way. I remember we did a story where uh, GE had misappropriated some money that should have been spent domestically, but they spent it overseas. It was, uh, you know, federal money, yeah. and we we didn't do that. I mean, the, the bosses wouldn't let us do that, you know. So it it's it's a weird situation. Yeah, but you know, as as the report pointed out, uh, the problem here is that news is a commercial enterprise, right. and therefore, yeah. you know, they're concerned about what audience that they're grabbing, who right. they're offending, 
uh, not, not you can't topple the sacred cows, and there's really no way around that except uh, you know for uh, for uh, media which um, is not doesn't take any advertising, and then it's a struggle financially for them. Right, right. Uh, uh, it, it's it, and also in terms of, uh, of of the public not even being aware of how the control fits in, as Noam Chomsky said, a lot of this isn't very obvious, right. but it's there. Right. You know, it sounds right. independent. It, it sounds unbiased, but you know it, it really isn't. And unless you're really attuned to what's going on, right? You know, a good example is the extremes with uh, Fox News and MSNBC. You know, they're, they're on opposite ends of the spectrum, right. and neither of them are objective. Now, those who are in the tank with Trump love Fox News uncritically. Those, right. those who, who uh, hate Trump. MSNBC is their favorite station, but a lot of that stuff is is is, uh, is biased. You know, they're, they're, well, I mean, I don't I, I don't agree with you on that. I mean, I, I, that's sort of I think a false equivalency in this sense that I think. Well, uh, with MSNBC. Yeah, I mean, I think MSNBC is a little more journalistically correct or uh, at times, correct. at times, factually and other times, correct. it's almost obviously uh, propaganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the spins that they put on it, and and the way they they go on and on about. Trivial points that are magnified into major uh, political sins and all that. Yeah, I, yeah. They 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 have their own agenda yeah, as, yeah. as they all do. You know, I have a friend who was raised in Poland when it was still yeah, under yeah. the um, communist uh, regime, and he said, you know, back then the media was strictly controlled by the right. communists. Uh, they had radio then, they had print media. He says it went, it went without saying that everybody. The general population, everybody didn't believe a damn thing that was in these Anybody parties. Said, yeah, right. But in the right, US, run. as Chomsky pointed out, it's yeah. not that obvious, so it's harder to discern. Right, right. I agree, I agree. All right, listen, have a good weekend. Let's see if we're still on the air after this. <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs> Bye-bye.